Hi there, welcome to my video. Don't forget, if you're not already, hit the subscribe button. This isn't a vlog. Uh, I am doing a whole series of uh, vlogs in December. Uh, the saxophone advent calendar, of which this isn't part of. This is a very special video just for you guys. I did one last year on what to buy a saxophone player for Christmas in 2018. And this is what to buy the saxophone player in your life in 2019. Of course, it could just be you. So today, I'm just gonna recommend five things. Uh, I am not being paid by anyone to recommend these five things. These are just five things that I have decided that I wanna recommend for you guys this year. First up is this that arrived in the post yesterday. It is, and I, rec I recommended it last year. It's a Kabula strap. This is the new uh, Pro Kabula strap. And thanks to the guys at Kabula for sending it over. I love these neck straps. As I've said before, these neck straps have saved my career. There have been a number of times I've arrived at gigs without having a neck strap, and there's a number of times students arrive at lessons without neck straps. I always keep spares, uh, but it's nice to actually have two Kabula neck straps, and I could probably keep one in my Alto case now, because traditionally, I've always just kept the same one across the tenor. Second is these wonderful key leaves. I think you're going to find these in every saxophone case in the world in the next five years. They are a fantastic invention. I love the way that they're bright green, so you see them. I do occasionally, if I've left the saxophone on the stand, uh, forget to take them off and then you know about it. But basically what they do, they're, they're not expensive. They keep the E flat and the C sharp key open on the saxophone, which of course should keep your G sharp key open, although on my Mark VI, I have to kind of sometimes persuade the G-sharp key to open, but they basically stop keys sticking. Very, 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 very fine product. Really pleased to have started using these and uh, highly recommend them. Next up for me has been the revelation of 2019. One of the few good things for me about this year, which has been discovering just how amazing Sios saxophone mouthpieces are. Uh, you can customize your own one. You can order this one that I've got in my hand, the Dan Forshaw signature model. You can of course order lots of other players, people like uh, Tivon Pennicott and uh, what's his name, Dario Baruzzi, and loads and loads of other players, Chad as well, there's loads and loads of players and, that have basically come around and worked with Silas to create their own signature range of mouthpieces, including my, as I said, my, my own here. I'm playing them now on soprano and alto as well as tenor. I, I've got to say, the more I have played with this, the more I really appreciate just how amazing the guys at Silas have been. And I, I, this is not kind of, you know, they're not paying me to say this, but... I really have been absolutely thrilled. And kind of my fourth one is actually what's attached to it, which you, you do get with Silas. They are working now with Silverstein, but if you're not playing a Silas mouthpiece, I've got to say, and I reviewed them in this video here a while back, these Silverstein uh, reed covers are fantastic because they're, they're rubber, they don't make a noise. And so many times uh, reed covers drop to the floor, make a horrible noise, or you leave them in the pocket. The slight thing with these, I have occasionally left them in my pocket and I can't find them because they're so small, which is a good thing. Uh, but, you know, I'm really, really, really pleased with them. In fact, I'm playing with the original Silverstein one. Oh, sorry, not playing with it, but keeping it on uh, the Sios mouthpiece. All these things are linked to below. You can find them. And finally, number five is... is it's a set of... I don't normally recommend books within this because I know saxophone players, but if I think about my teaching in the last five to six years, the books I have used the most have been from my friend Greg Fishman. And I've got to say, if you haven't got Greg, Greg's Jazz Phrasing for Saxophone, uh, Volume 1, 2, or 3, you really should. The, the, phrasing, the, the phrasing stuff is more accessible to people. The actual etudes are for the more advanced player, but the phrasing stuff, I'm using them almost in every single lesson every single day when I'm teaching. They are just a fantastic tool uh, to use. Um, they're great for students. Students really enjoy playing them. Uh, even after now, what, eight, nine years of hearing them being played nearly every day, I'm not totally sick of them. Uh, they're very, very well-written etudes. As Greg says himself in his interview that I did with him in this vlog, uh, he's very, very happy. He would be more than happy to take these uh, etudes uh, and these phrasing, these 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 pieces, shall we say, uh, onto a gig and play them on a gig. That they're, they're, they're so well written and he's done a really, really good job. So well done, Greg. And I can say that after five or six years, as I said, listening to them almost every single day, you can definitely learn an awful lot from them. So there you go. The five things that I am recommending this year, a Kibula neck strap, uh, the key leaves uh, for your saxophone, a Sios mouthpiece, a 
Silverstein ligature cap, or read cap, uh, and the Greg Fishman books. Uh, I hope you find those useful. I guarantee that a lot of you will be buying them for yourselves if you're watching this and I'm watching on my channel, but please do enjoy yourselves. Of course, two things I haven't mentioned, but I maybe could put on the end, uh, that you ought to get is my Sax Practice Planner book. I'm going to reduce the price of those for Christmas. Um, the code is here and it's only available if you're using the code as the reduced price. So I'm going to knock 20% off if you use this code down here. Uh, and uh, of course, my Make Your Sax Sing Long Tones ebook. Really, really pleased with this book. This book really is a telling you now if you give six months of your time to working with this long tones ebook you will transform your tone you will have a much much better saxophone sound so rather than necessarily going out changing your saxophone you read your gear and all those kind of things although i've just recommended a mouthpiece i realized that um <laughs> you know spend some time with your current setup maybe and working on these long tones and see where you get to and then in six months time if it hasn't transformed your tone i'd be very very surprised but maybe then you can look at getting a mouthpiece but there you go thank you very much for watching this video don't forget please do hit subscribe if you haven't already check out these videos and uh, check out santa play sax as well thank you very much for watching i'll see you soon